Hi, I'm Joy Nguyen, also known as DJ, and I am one of the founders of Good Heart Animal Sanctuaries. We have two rescues under the Good Heart umbrella. We have the Good Heart Farm Animal Sanctuary, which is based in Worcestershire, and we rescue farm animals, cows, pigs, sheep, hens, to name but a few. And we also have our dog rescue, Wickerways Rescued Border Collies, which is based in Lincolnshire. And we take in dogs from the UK and we home them, and also from further afield, including Ireland and Romania. Along with co-founder David, we established Good Heart in 2017. And since then, we have rescued over 483 farm animals and we've rehomed hundreds of dogs who would otherwise have faced uncertain or unpleasant futures. Dave has been a vegetarian and now vegan for almost 40 years. I personally only made the transition seven years ago to becoming a vegetarian. I began to make the connection between animals and food. I started to look at sheep and hens and cows differently as sentient beings. And I became a vegan three years later after reading a book called Farm Sanctuary by Jean Bauer. It was an instant decision for me after reading about the dairy industry. Both Dave and I really wanted to do something. We wanted to make a real difference to farmed animals, the real underdogs of the animal world to help secure futures for the few who would be ambassadors for those who wouldn't be so lucky. This was the very beginning of Good Heart Animal Sanctuaries. Today at Good Heart, we welcome people when able. And for any visitor, for me personally, for any visitor to leave and to be thinking about their food choices, even if it's just cutting out animal product, produce for one or two meals a week, I feel that we are heading in the right direction and making a real difference to the animals, our health and the planet. I will now pass you to the Good Heart care team at the sanctuary. Thank you. Hi, my name's Ava and I'm Abby and we are both animal care assistants. We're going to use this opportunity to take on a tour of our beautiful sanctuary and show you just what we do day to day here. So we're going to have a look at some of the feeding of the animals, some of the health checks and obviously a lot of fun of all of the animals that we have here. Let's go! into our pig wood, which is Good Heart's greatest and biggest development to site. It is the perfect place for our pigs to live and it also brings a really, a really good experience for visitors as they walk through. You can go down the pathway and there's pigs either side so you really get to meet the characters that are here. It's a fantastic place for the pigs to live because with all the shelter from the trees there's absolutely loads of brush for them to root around. It's a perfect place for them to really express their natural behaviours. So as we walk round, you can see the size, two of the best characters here, already grouped So uh, almost two years ago, you may have seen on our Facebook that we had a pig arrive called Salt. Um, she was, she came from the RSPCA and we, uh, she gave birth uh, to 10 piglets a few months later. We didn't realise she was pregnant. So Zeus and Joseph that we have in here, she is two of the 10 piglets that she had. So all 10 piglets still live with us here. Um, so these guys are in a group um, together and we have them in other groups around the centre. So these two, um, as Ava said, are two of our friendliest pigs. So every morning we have to come and check and feed all our pigs and the rest of the residents here at the sanctuary. So we're just going to go and check and feed Zeus and Joseph, if you want to come through.
every day when we check them, we're looking for just them displaying the regular behaviour that we see every day, rooting around for the food, wherever we place it. It's fantastic up in big wood because you can really see them getting to use their natural behaviours, rooting around for all the leaves to find the pig nuts that we feed them. We're checking for anything unusual, any scratches or cuts or scrapes on them. We're checking that their eyes are clear, that there's no discharge from their nose or from their ears. We can also have a glance over their hooves to see that there's no cracks or any bleeding. And we're also checking that when they're walking, it's fine. There's no lameness, no stumbling. Just generally their overall health, that everything looks good. These guys definitely look so happy up here. There is the occasional squabble, but they are brothers, so you can't really expect anything less than that. So once we've finished feeding and health checking the pigs, we do like giving them a bit of a fuss, giving them a bit of a scratch, and they do seem to absolutely love it, um, especially these guys. This definitely makes this the best job in the world. We are super lucky to be able to interact on such like a personal basis with the animals we've got here. And most of the pigs are super friendly and they absolutely love a bit of attention. The piglets especially. So as part of our daily checks at the sanctuary, we like to make sure that everyone has enough straw, everyone's cosy, and has got a lovely, nice bed to go to. So we've just come over to this pig arm, which houses some of the pig bits. Um, they're quite keen for some of the spotlight, I think. But this is so hot and up there. And you can have a cosy in there just to see how comfy and cosy it really is. take a walk over to our education and outreach area this is a brand new development that we're working on it's currently in the process of being built so we'll just walk down there now and then um, our education and outreach manager will speak to you about the rest if you want to come on we're now moving over to our new outdoor education area um, this is a brand new development for 2020. We were really lucky to secure some charitable funding last year, which made this entire project possible. And this is now going to be an integral part of our education and outreach programme. This new area is in the heart of the sanctuary. So we're surrounded by all of our rescued animals as well as the local wildlife. This means that it's a great opportunity for us to look at environmental science topics, look at best practice animal husbandry, as well as studying the local ecology of the site. So over here now you can see our brand new seating area. We're going to have some benches here where visitors can sit and enjoy their lunch while they take in the sanctuary views. Then we're moving on over to our brand new raised vegetable beds, which are all made from sustainably sourced timber. Um, this area is going to be really important for teaching about um, organic horticulture and the importance of seasonality in growing your own veg. We're also going to be planting our own wildflower seeds and talking about the importance of pollination. We're just walking on up to our brand new outdoor classroom here and you can see it's a lovely large space. It's about six metres in diameter, big enough to house around 30 students at any one time. So it's a lovely big space and we can welcome entire classes all at once. We can't wait to have our students back on site, so please do get in touch if you're interested in visiting. 
we're just heading down um, to see one of our groups of sheep. We have 253 sheep at Goodheart, over 92 acres, and they are eagerly awaiting our arrival at the game. We do check them twice a day, and so part of the morning routine is to check everyone, feed everyone, make sure everyone's okay, and there's no injuries or illness. So that is what we are just about to do. So he decided he wanted to give up sheep farming um, and he wanted to send these guys um, to a sanctuary. So fortunately, he got in contact with us. We did have space. So these guys have come here to live out the rest of their lives. So Ava is just down here. She's just giving them a little bit of food. I'm just giving them a health check. Florida group, which is a group of our older sheep, named so because Florida and the sanctuary are both fantastic places to retire. Part of this group are our alpacas who came to us um, at the start, at the very start of um, the first lockdown. So they are they are fairly new. You might not have seen them if you visited us before. As you can hear, everyone is super keen for their morning meal. Um, so this guy here is Alfie, and he is super curious. Pretty friendly. He wasn't so friendly when he first came. Um, he was quite reserved, like how just there is a little bit more cautious. Maybe not so keen to come up and meet everybody, but hopefully in due course he'll gain his confidence and he will feel ready, like how Alfie is. Pretty keen, I would say. So um. So these guys were part of, they were looked after by, um, they were at a care home. Um, that care home changed hands, got new management. And the management realised they really couldn't care for them, give them the, you know, the care and the attention to make sure they had really high welfare standards. So they got in touch with us and luckily for us, we had space to take them in. So now they definitely do think that they are sheep. They're definitely solid members of this flock anyway. Um, so yeah. Once um once we can welcome visitors and tours back, it'll be really nice for everyone to get to meet them because they are proper. I mean, they're gorgeous guys. You can just see how fantastic they look, and hopefully by then, Alan might be a bit friendly as well. Might want to come over and say hi to. But for now, they're just part of um part of this flock, and they get fed like the rest of them, get checked like the rest of them. So yeah, we're gonna put some food down for them. John's group have actually been featured in the newspaper. Mindy here has featured on our social media sites recently and um, she's a very special individual. We feed her twice a day on her own, separate from the rest of the flock. She has um, misaligned jaws, so she really can't eat grass all that well. So she has a special mix of food that keeps her at a healthy weight and ensures she gets all the goodness that she needs that she might be missing out on if she were just to graze on grass alone. Um, so she has already had her feed this morning, so we won't give her any more until this afternoon. So she's just with her rest of her flock, just enjoying her day. Although 
she is quite um, a curious little girl and she probably would eat more if we had it but she definitely doesn't need it because she is such a good weight now into comparison to when she first came she is doing really well So we're here with some of the old sheep that we have um, at Good Heart. So we do have quite a few um, old and geriatric animals here that we do take care of. So although we do check health check all of our animals daily, it's very important with these guys that we do make sure that they are always in good condition. They are always healthy. Um, make sure that um, there's very little lameness, that they're not getting arthritis, uh, that they're all a very healthy weight. So to make sure they do keep um, to a healthy weight, we do make sure that they all get special food every day. Um, so always make sure that twice a day they do get additional food as well as the hay they've got in the background. And they have also got access to a field as well. So they've got lots of nice grass out there for them to eat. Uh, we always make sure that they also have the shelter to keep them nice and warm as well. So a lot of our older sheep actually have pain management plans in place. So the older they get, the more prone they are to things like arthritis, they struggle with lameness a lot more. So we have to make sure we're staying on top of managing these conditions, which, which includes um, really thorough health checking, as Abby has already mentioned, and also pain relief, so anti-inflammatories when necessary, and just making sure everyone stays in really good condition. quite common for them to suffer with foot problems so in that case we take the individuals who are suffering bring them inside where they stay just until they get better so um, they stay on fresh straw before they can then return out into the field with their flock mates these guys in here might be a bit um, in the rest just because they are inside but we hopefully with a bit of food we might be able to get them to come up to us just like Primrosey show right here. As we move between the barns, there is something that I would just like to highlight that is amazing. We have actually been verified by the Global Federation of Animal Sanctuaries. Um, so this just it, this is a recognition of the very high welfare standards that we do provide for the animals here. It's absolutely fantastic because we are actually the first farm animal sanctuary in the UK to be verified, which just shows the hard work that we all put in to make sure that animals, their lives are like amazing. And it really is such a rewarding thing for us to have. We've just come over to the cows. We've got 25 here at Good Heart. They're really eagerly awaiting their breakfast, so we're going to give that them now. We do make all our own hay here, and that is what they receive every morning and every afternoon for their breakfast. So we're just going to give them that now.
we've just come over to one of our chicken areas where we have four of our newest arrivals here at the sanctuary. So this lovely lady here is um, Dilly and we've got Parsley down there and Barry and Brutus as well. So they're some of the newest, the newest hens we've got here. So Barry and Brutus are ex-pets and Dilly and Parsley have come from the, the egg lay industry. So we work quite closely with a char another charity called the British Hen Welfare Trust and they rescue and rehome chickens from the egg laying industry once they've, once they've reached the end of their laying line. So um, she clearly didn't want to be held anymore. Um, so yeah, so luckily on our last rehoming day we had space to take on Parsi and Dilly so they'd come from those guys. Um, and they don't look so great now. They've got feather last in there. They don't look as, you know, lovely as um, Barry and Brutus, as you can see there, full feather. They look in great condition. But after being with us for a while, they will, they will start to look fantastic again. Like they'll get all their feathers back. Um, but at the minute, these guys are all together, just integrating before they join the rest of our flock. Um, we'll pop over there now where Abby is just ready to speak you through and talk you through the checks that we do with those guys on a daily basis. one of our long-term residents so this is Bumble and um, so unfortunately for Bumble she has had um, quite a bit of arthritis so fortunately with her being here we are able to give her daily treatment and we can keep a very close eye on her to make sure that she's not getting any worse and we can make sure that the treatment is working for her so while we've got her we can also give her a health check make sure that everything's healthy so you can see that her eyes are really uh, bright and alert she kind of knows what's going on um, she hasn't got any discharge coming from her nose. Uh, her feathers are all in good condition and when she is walking around we can see that she is in that lane um, so we know that she is quite a good healthy chicken. So what I'll do is I'll pop her back with the rest of the flock. So we have 11 chickens here all together so they've come from a variety of different places so some of them are ex-pets and some of them have also come from the egg laying industry as well. Um, so we've got 11 of them all together in here. So unfortunately at the moment we do have, uh, there is avian flu in the country. So these guys are under strict quarantine um, and, guide, and guidelines. So we do have to keep them undercover for the moment. So this is their home. Um, in a normal circumstance, they would be out wandering around our yard, um, going wherever they want to. And then this is where they then sleep at night. So, but for the moment, they do stay in here um, all the time, but we do like to make sure that they have lots of enrichment um, to keep them nice and active. As part of their daily routine as well, we make sure they've always got access to hay. We also give them a look over, a visual health check to make sure everyone looks happy and healthy. Clear bright eyes, no runny noses, everyone's up and on their feet, no signs of any lameness and just make sure everyone's really in good spirits.
in the barn with the goats that we have here. So we have 10 goats all together here at Goodheart. Um, so they are in at the moment because we have had some quite bad weather recently. So we have had a lot of snow. So these guys have had a little problem with their feet. So we brought them in just so they can have a little bit of R&R. &R. We can get, get them treated, get them sorted. And then tomorrow they'll be going out into their field. So you can probably see in the background that we have had to fortify this area quite a lot. So goats do like jumping, they do like escaping, they are very intelligent animals. So we have had to put quite a lot of hurdles to actually keep them in this area and stop them going and wandering around our yard wherever they want to. So just to give you an example of some of the um, stories that we have with the animals. So we have uh, three of the white goats here that don't have horns. This is, uh, they are Maisie, Phoebe and Lucy. So they actually came from an adult learning centre. And as I said, goats are very jumpy. They are very excitable animals. So unfortunately, they just weren't suitable for the clientele that they had there. So um, the owners got in touch with us and we did actually have space for these three goats to come and live out their lives with us. So uh, Ava is over here then with the enrichment. So because our goats are in, we like to give them a bit of extra stimulation in the form of enrichment. These are feeder balls and we fill these full of um, the goats, yeah. some food for the goats. And then we can put these down and hopefully they'll investigate. And it gives them just some stimulation through the day. We have to make sure that we put enough in so there's no like dominating of the feeder balls, just so that everyone gets to have a go. Once they get the hang of things, they really do enjoy just um, moving them around to get the food out. We'll also take this time just to give them a little bit of a fuss because they do absolutely a bit. And they have been missing out on it due to no visitors being able to come to the sanctuary. So we like to make sure they just get that extra little bit of attention as well during the day. And she is loving this. So I am just here with Maisie the goat and she is actually one of our adoptable animals. Um, so you can go onto our website and adopt her and you get a little adoption pack that comes with a little bit of information about her. Um, and she would like us really appreciate that. So if you did want to show us some support, adopting an animal really is a great way to do that. So we're here with Twinkle, uh, who is one of our horses that we have here. So she is 25 years old now and she is a Shetland. Um, so unfortunately for her, her previous owner um, passed away. So she came uh, to live with us as well, along with Morris, who is in the background just there. Um, so they have been together for quite a few years and we fortunately managed to have space for them. So they've come to live out with us. Um, so we do health checks on these guys as well. So we feed them every morning, uh, we check them over, we muck them out as well, which is quite a, quite a big job. Um, so we'll check them over, make sure that they're all nice and healthy, make sure they, have it, uh, they don't have any issues with their feet. Um, and yeah, they're, they're all very healthy. So what we'll do, we'll just give her a brush, um, make sure that we get rid of any mud that she might have, any dirt that she has on her, and keep her just nice and tidy. So this is part of our daily routines, making sure that they're always, they're always nice. Beautiful as ever, Twinkle. Both the sanctuary and the charity have been greatly affected by uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. 
Um, so we normally run quite a few visitor events, so coming for open days, different things like that. But in the past 12 months, we haven't been able to welcome any visitors onto site, unfortunately. Um, so even though visitors haven't been able to come in, we have still been able to provide the animals with the care and the uh, dedication that they need uh, to give them the best welfare that we, that we possibly can. We do really appreciate all of the support that we've had from all of our followers because it has meant that we are able to give um, the animals the high standards um, that they do deserve here. So thank you very much. Thank you so much for joining us on our tour of the Animal Sanctuary. We really hope that you've enjoyed watching it. We really also hope that we can open the sanctuary for visitors and events this year. Fingers crossed. So do take a look at our website and also follow, follow us on social media so you can find out um, new things like different events that we're able to do and you can follow all the animals that we have here. So thank you again thank so you. much. Bye. Bye.